kind of go from there and try to incorporate my puppet skills into um, making it look like my cartoon characters. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way, but uh, I guess it does kind of help a little bit to um, be able to draw. I got a couple of my sketches here of some of them. I don't know if you can see behind me a little bit too. Um, <laughs> thanks, Notorious. Um, behind me, I guess I don't know if everybody's familiar with uh, my puppet Fang. Puppet kind of looks like uh, Dr. Teeth a little bit. I don't know if you check that out. But um, he's my big boy here. Um, I'm trying to get him in the in the camera view here. But uh, let me show you a quick sketch of uh, what I envisioned him to look like initially, so you can kind of do a comparison. I don't know if you can catch that on my cam there. So that's that was the initial sketch that I kind of envisioned him to look like. And what I ended up with was something like this. And I don't really see the resemblance with Dr. Teeth whatsoever, so I don't know what, what they're talking about. <laughs> Just kidding. He's got the good, very white voice, too. Hey, everybody. Golden teeth and golden tones. Welcome to my presence. But anyway, that's, uh, that is Fang. Surprisingly, for his size, he's extremely lightweight, very lightweight puppet. Uh, you would think he would weigh a lot more, but uh, but he's really very lightweight. Uh, people are asking questions in the chat, Daryl. I'm not actually catching that. I'm, uh, so if you want to kind of feed that for me. Okay. Uh, all right. Cool. All right, the second one, I guess, I don't know if people are familiar with, is my latest character, and that is my short order cook, and that would be Victor. And here is 